Wow, amazing! Do you interested in knowing more about a project? Of course I do. Do you want to know more about our project? Let's get started! Hi, welcome back with me. So I want to explain more about the green technology. So green technology is refers to an application equipment or system that has features that are concerned with environmental sustainability and are environmentally friendly. Green technology cities make the environment better for future generations. According to Kamaruddin, Muhammad Fazli, Muhammad Nur Hayati, Ismail Jani and Nurhana, green technology is an initiative that combines various methods and specific materials from electricity generation techniques to environmentally friendly products that are free from pollution sources such as the release of carbon dioxide gas. The combination of environmental science and technology is used and the main component to be applied to the production of products and systems that aim to reduce the neg negative impact on the environment from human activities. The hydraulic bridge, also known as moving bridge, is a bridge that is used to allow seaside traffic through a body of water. It can be moved to allow the passage for boats or ships. The hydraulic bridge design incorporates an integrated hydraulic system into the bridge in order to carry more weight. Here's some of the advantage of hydraulic bridge. It accurately calibrated. There is no need for computers to control the hydraulic actuators. The hydraulic bridge ram can be in motion only by the loading applied to it. That's to say, if a certain load is applied on the bridge, it applies an appropriate force upwards to counteract any deflections. This implies that there is very little maintenance concerning automated system and in situations such as blackouts or malfunctions, the hydraulic bridge won't be in any immediate concern for failure. By the way, we use vascular bridge. The vascular bridge is a sub subcategory of drawbridge. These bridge are structurally sound, reliable, and economical. Next, the main transportation in our green city is train. The train is placed in the center of the city, making it easier for the residents to take the train wherever they want to go. It also moves in a very fast pace. This train track uses magnet to save the petroleum source. By doing this, the petroleum can be useful for a very important matter or can be saved as a country property. When we are talking about environmental protection, we might think of iron straws, recycling bins, or plastic bags that are just 20 cents when going to 7-Eleven. But there is one big feature in pollution that we overlook, which is buildings. Buildings account for up to 18% of the world's carbon dioxide emissions. At the same time, buildings have the greatest potential to save energy compared to other sectors such as public transport, agriculture, and industry. The goal of green building construction is actually simple, which is to reduce uh, the overall impact of the built environment and infrastructure on human health and the natural environment. Therefore, a building stamped with the green label is not, not just an ordinary work of art. It must have properties, form, and functions that follow the definition and specific characteristics of green buildings. Hence, the main function of a hospital is to provide the population with complete health care. It also functions as a center for training of hard workers too. A hospital is generally a vital part of a social and medical organization. There are some privileges that this hospital has. Firstly, there is a helicopter to pick up the patient. Because if we use an ambulance, we, waste, we will waste time traveling through the congested road. So, if we use helicopter, there will be no traffic jams that will happen. So, we can get to the place quickly so that there is no loss of life due to the ambulance arriving late. Secondly, 
As we know, hospitals utilize more resources and produce more waste materials than most other commercial buildings of a similar size. Hard care facilities in this country consume more than 315 gallons of water per bed every day. So we produce a system where we can recycle the water used so that it can be reduced, for example, use the water to flush the toilet. We also can produce a systematic drainage system where we produce iron pipes and let the water flow throughout the building so that the building cool. Indirectly, we can also save electricity bills. The diamond building's design strategy is encapsulated through four main aspects, namely energy efficiency, water efficiency, indoor environmental quality, and outdoor environmental quality. Next, the diamond body was designed and built on a concept of centimeter building with consideration to the following aspects. 1. Reduction in fossil fuels usage. 2. Water conservation. 3. Sustainability building materials. 4. Waste minimization and avoidance. 5. Indoor environmental quality. 6. Traffic and Transport Management 7. Construction and Demolition Management Plan This building is projected to have an energy index of 85 kWh per year in contrast with the standard index of 125 kWh per year. The Energy Commission's role and mission as a regulatory body, technique should represent an optimum design approach to achieve energy efficiency. Eventually, each house in Sumestai neighborhood uses a glow-in-the-dark roof. They are non-toxic and, envir and environmentally friendly and can help to reduce electricity consumption. In and around the home, they can also create the wow experience. Each house has a small country yet besides it, allow the residents to plant more trees, thus product more oxygen around it. We use plexiglass for the window because they don't diffuse heat. We also open a small space on the top of the wall so that the heat will come out and the resident won't need to buy to be ventilated. That costs a fortune. In short, these houses are very modern and environmental friendly. Furthermore, an incinerator machine is a mechanical unit that is built to destroy waste. This happens by burning the waste at an extremely high temperature, reducing it to bottom edge. The machines can be manufactured from small garden waste incinerator all the way to large-scale industrial size machine. Other than that, smoke reservoir is a device that is used to filter the entire air to keep the environment clean by removing bacteria, fumes, combustion product, bad steam and other heat and grease it has a mechanical fan that pulls out harmful films and gases with a carbon filter. Moreover, KLIA2 is the first airport terminal in Southeast Asia to be awarded LEED Gold Green Building Certification. This structure features rainwater harvesting, which harvests rainwater for processing and causes water savings of around 9% or RM 21,500 a year. For this airport, KLIA2 also energy efficient, low effect glass, solar reflected high roof, LED lighting, diffuser jets and variable air cooling have resulted in energy savings of 7%. This distribution center is the first in Malaysia to receive GIP certification. Its rainwater harvesting system has a savings of 33% in drinking water consumption. This center is also designed for maximum natural lighting and natural ventilation, which leads to 40% savings in energy consumption. A main substation or transmission substation connects two or more transmission lines, usually placed close to the power source. According to the standard, a main substation to be installed must have at least two transformers. 
33 per 11 kV, 33 kV feeder, 11 kV feeder and other equipment which is special equipment designed to operate at high voltage. Other equipment found in the main substation are isolators, circuits breaker, step down transformer, current transformer, bus bar and so on. Other than that, a dam is barrier that stop of or reaches the flow of surface water for or underground streams. Receivers created by them not only su suppress floods but also provide water for activities such as irrigation, human consumption, is industrial use, aquaculture, and navigability. Hydropower is often used in conjunction with dams to generate electricity. electricity. A dam can also be distributed between locations. Dams generally serve the primary purpose of retaining water while other structures such as floodgates or leaves also known as dikes are used to manage or prevent water flow into specific Now, let us imagine there is Iron Dome in the city. Iron Dome is a mobile all-weather air defense system. The system is designed to intercept and destroy short-range rockets and artillery shells fired from distance of 4 km to 70 km away and whose trajectory would take them to any pointed error. Area. We must wonder if the rocket comes out, it will really smoke. Won't it pollute our environment? Don't worry. As I said, we do have smoke observer. It will help to prevent smoke from being released to the surface indirect. It won't cause air pollution. Next to the Conversation Society of Malaysia, TCS is the first not-for-profit organization in Malaysia dedicated to restoring deplete water to populations of freshwater turtles in the country. This is done through research, conversation, rehabilitation, education, and public outreach. There are three tremendous. First, turtle facts and temperature is very important. Second, house bee turtles use their bricks to help extract their favorite prey. Third, one sea turtle species nests during the day. Last but not least, leatherback sea turtles have existed in their current form since the age of the dinosaur. Additionally, farming is the source of our daily food and drink. Therefore, farming is compulsory in this city. Subsequently, we can prevent plastic pollution using bubble barrier technology. The bubble kitten is created by a perforated tube on the bottom of the waterway where air is pumped through. This generates a screen of bubbles that blocks plastic to the surface. The diagonal placement of the bubble kitten in the waterway guides plastic waste to the side and into the catchment system. Charging station, also known as a charge point or electric vehicle supply equipment (EVSE), is a piece of equipment that supplies electrical power from charging plug-in electric vehicles, including electric cars, electric trucks, electric buses, neighborhood electric vehicles, and and plug-in hybrids. The time it takes to charge an electric car can be as little as 13 minutes or more than 12 hours. This depends on the size of the battery and the speed of the charging point. A typical electric car 60 kW battery takes just under 8 hours to charge from empty to full with a 7 kW charging point.
sure that Malaysia can save country properties such as fossil biomass and petroleum. Come on, Malaysia! Let's, Let's go, Malaysia! Malaysia!